Many rare diseases share signs and symptoms with other common disorders. So there's often a lot of time spent before someone is referred to a geneticist, there's a lot of time spent looking for and ruling out those more common explanations. But most medical professionals have not spent a lot of time learning about rare diseases in the course of their training. So they may not consider them when they're constructing a differential diagnosis for their patient. So take something like Gaucher disease, for example. Gaucher disease frequently presents with splenomegaly and thrombocytopenia. There are several explanations for those findings that are far more common than Gaucher disease. And it makes sense to rule those conditions out. It's necessary. But the question is, once you've done that initial round of testing and it's negative, is the physician thinking of Gaucher disease or other rare conditions? Do they know where to get that testing done? Do they know how to interpret those results? That's, those are the kinds of hurdles that we need to get over in order to, to shorten the diagnostic journey. The geneticist um, is often in the position of getting a referral for a patient, you know, maybe there's already a suspected, a specific suspected rare condition, or there are a group, there's a grouping of symptoms for which no explanation has been found. And um, the, the referring physician is trying to help find an answer for this, for this patient. So we're trained in, again, looking for those patterns, those clues that would point toward a rare disease on physical exam in a patient history, in a family history. And then once hopefully a, a conclusion is reached and there is a diagnosis, the geneticist is really the one who has the broadest view of what that condition is all about and what the range of needs are going to be for that patient. When I was in practice, my team and I ran a number of disease-specific multidisciplinary clinics in which all of the relevant specialists were brought together to see patients with a certain condition, all usually, the ideally, all on, on one day so that the patient can get everything that they need and all of those physicians can be in communication and care is coordinated and the, the patient really gets maximum benefit from getting care in that kind of setting. And the geneticist is uniquely positioned to, to facilitate all of that. Thank you.